Hola, hello, and welcome back to my channel, everybody. If you guys are new here, my name is Nush, and I make reactions here on YouTube. And today we're going to be continuing on our Junior Eurovision 2023 series, which will be held in the city of Nice, France, on the 26th of November. We have our seventh song that has just been released today. I know I'm a little bit late to Ukraine's song. I think that came out two days ago, so I will do that after this. I've heard a lot of good things about this song already in the Eurovision community. Everyone's saying that it's better than the Netherlands song, which... I don't know. That so far has been my favorite, but there is only one way to find out and that is to get into this. Before we do so, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here. That is very important. Clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you want to follow me over on Instagram or TikTok, it is Nush101. That was so low. <coughs> So I didn't even say who has got this or what. So Spain is going to be sending Sandra Valero with the song Love You. They've only got the lyric video out, but there is apparently a snippet. So I'm going to try find that. Okay, so this song is in five different languages. Spanish, English, French, Italian and Portuguese. Whoa, a girl of many talents here. I mean, that's quite normal in Europe, isn't it? But still, I don't think we've had many. Let's look at the lyric video, and when that music video comes out, I'm sure we will react to it. So, let's get into this. Oh, love you, literally. Okay. Ooh. Very poppy. It's just sounding just like something and I can't figure it out. What is this? A Bruno Mars kind of thing? I am not too sure. But yeah, as I said, very poppy. Pleasant. But it does sound a little bit generic from the get-go, I've got to say. I'm sure she's going to wow me. We're only 43, 45 seconds in. So let's continue. It's clearly a very high production here. I can see that. Yeah, still not, still not blown away. She has a great voice. That's a given. It is quite catchy. Oh. Really good vocal there. I do like the piano a lot. Okay. I think this is one of those songs that once we see the whole package, even when the music video, it might come to life a lot more. But so far, no, this is very kid-friendly. Sounds very junior Eurovision, that is for sure. I don't wanna say that we've kind of moved away from that stuff because the songs that have been winning have definitely been palatable for children and adults. I feel like this is the kind of song that would do well on like kids TV. I'm not necessarily sure if it would do well in the adult sector, which it doesn't have to be. This is a kid contest at the end of the day. Don't think this is a winning song, but I do think this could do well. I mean, we have 16 participants this year. Anything is possible. And I still think Spain could do well, especially with the staging. I am missing a bit of that Spanish vibe, which I love in the Spanish entries. And yeah, you probably, I say this a lot when I don't hear the ethnic vibes, but. I don't know, I just like to hear that in a country and I'm not really hearing that in this. And it does sound like a typical pop song, but I'm not saying that I don't like this because I was singing along to it and I was definitely dancing along to it. So I am very much looking forward to seeing what the full package is gonna be like. And I'm sure that Sandra is gonna do a fantastic job when it comes to the contest in Nice. But yeah, I think I'm gonna give this song a six out of 10. I, it's, you know, as I said, 
We're not fully there yet. I think things will shape up when it comes to the actual contest, as I said. But anyway, guys, of course, that was just what I thought. I want to know what you thought of the Spanish entry for this year's Junior Eurovision Song Contest. Please let me know down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.